Good afternoon YouTube, it's Craig here from Manx Bushcraft and today I'm going to do a small review on some of the stoves that you can use in bushcraft. I just want to show you, it's a lovely day here on the Isle of Man. The sun's out and the birds singing. So if you stick with me, what I'll do is I'll tell you what type of stove they are, the weight and the cost. So let's have a look at the first one. This is the British Army Hexamine stove. This is a bit of a cheaper one. It uses hexamine uh, blocks. Um, quite a good stove these. Uh, I've used them in the past. This one I keep in my rucksack as a spare stove in case I need it. You can bury this into the embers of a fire and use it as a pot stand. Um, very good stove. Weighs in at 185 grams with a packet of fuel tablets and sort of varies from about £3.50 up to about £13. Go for the uh, proper British one. This one is one of the cheaper ones, but if you get one of the British ones that the army use, it'll last you for a long time. So this is the Crusader uh, cup with the cooker that it comes with. Uh, this is the Mark 1. I prefer the Mark 1 because it's stainless steel. Um, this has a pot hanger on it, not a pot hanger, uh, a level to place your cup. Um, it normally comes with green heat gel, but you can put a fire open there and convert it into an alcohol sort of stove. You can use the hexamine tablets in there. It's quite a good little stove. Uh, that's quite a new one that. I've not had a chance to use that one yet. I did have one, but it got damaged. That weighs in at 180 grams and they vary from about £10 up to about £14, depending on where you look on the internet. Very good stove though. Um, give it a go if you can get one. Next one we're going to look at is the Coleman dual fuel stove. Now for me this is brilliant. I've had this now for many years. Um, it's never let me down. I use the Coleman fuel on it. You can use unleaded petrol but I wouldn't recommend it because it um, clogs all the valves up and the burner and everything and it, it costs a fortune to get them the repair kit to get it sorted out and it's just not worth it it's a primer so you have to pump the fuel f uh, through it'll start with a, a lighter a spark from a ferrocium rod i quite like it this has got half a tank of fuel in full tank of lasher at six and a half hours at the moment this weighs in at 915 grams and has a starting price of £80 and go up to about £105 depending on where you get them from and which type you get because there's a couple of different ones that they do. Next we're going to look at the trusted Triangia stove. This is a one person cook set. This was my daughter's that she used for the Duke of Edinburgh and she really liked using it. I've had many of these in the past. The Dutch Army used to have a, a billy can set that was based on the Triangia one. Um, I quite enjoyed using them. Uh, very good stoves. Um, this one, without any fuel in, uh, weighs in at 350 grams. This one starts got a starting price of £24, but when you buy the full set that's got a kettle, a couple of pans and other bits and bobs in it, goes up to about £92. On the bigger Triangi sets that they do, you can get a conversion kit to use gas. Uh, this will put the weight up and the price up, but they are very good. Next, we're going to look at the Lard Firebox. Now, as you can see, this has had some serious use. I've had this for quite a few years now. I've made char cloth in it. I've cooked loads of different food in it. Uh, I have a modification, not this, but another grill that I put on top so I can cook fresh meat. This is quite heavy. This weighs in at 1,640 grams. This comes in three different sizes, this particular one. They start off at 120 pound and go up to about 180. Very good stove, can't fault it. You can put coals in, charcoal and stuff like that, but I always think it's best to use the wood. Um, you can get a couple of different cups on there. I've just put the lid off the Triangi one person kit on there. As you can see, the Crusader cup will fit on there. You'll probably get a couple of cups on there. and It also uh, belts out some really good heat. So on a cold night, it will keep you warm if you're under a tarp. 
Then we're going to look at the trusted gas, uh, propane and butane gas canisters that you can get. Uh, this one's had some serious use over the years. Uh, there's different ones that you can get. A lot of people are fav favouring the rocket pockets or the pocket rockets at the moment. Uh, very good, you can get loads of different types. This has got half a canister of gas on it and it weighs in at 650 grams. Quite a good stove. Uh, you can pick up the canisters from most uh, outdoor places. Uh, and the actual stove on its own uh, probably starts off at about £12 and go up to about £120 depending on which one you go for. Very good stove, I recommend it. The probably cheapest one that I have here is this little gel stove. Uh, this is quite good this. Um, a friend made me a little pot stand to use it. All you do with this one is you open up, put a match or a spark to it. Uh, weighs about 170 grams for the container and the gel, lasts for about two and a half hours. Put the pot stand on it, brings up the weight to about 200 grams. Not bad though, quite a good little stove. Use it in, uh, you know, if you if in an emergency if you need to. Uh, they start off at about two pound fifty, go up to about eight pound. Um, worth having one in your kit. I know a lot of people like using the the best one to cooking over a fire. As you can see, I've got the Pathfinder nesting bottle with the mouth spreaders as the bale. And I've set this up just to give you an idea. Uh, this is a tripod made by Solo and it weighs in at 570 grams. They start off at about 32 pound and go up to about 60 pound. And this is a good little tripod this I must admit. It goes down into different heights. You just connect all of these together but at the very bottom uh, the, that one has a spike so you can jam that into the ground so you're not clogging up these bits here last thing you want to do is damage that but very good quite like doing that we were at a bushcraft camp the other day with Manx Bushcraft or the other week with Manx Bushcraft and one of our guys Ebo had this with a big massive steel pot over it over the fire cooking and yeah it's quite a good one so these are the stoves that you can use. There are many different types out there. They vary in price. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a show, see what you think of these. This is Craig from Manx Bushcraft signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day.